Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my movie on hot keys and keyboard shortcuts. I'd like to explain the difference between hot keys and keyboard shortcuts and why you need to learn how to use them. I'm going to show you how to make changes to the keyboard shortcuts and hot keys in Vectorworks, and I'm going to show you how you can use hot keys and keyboard shortcuts in other programs as well. So let's join me and learn how to save a lot of time and save a lot of money by learning about keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys. One of the ways to become truly productive when you're using Vectorworks, or in fact any other program, is to learn about hotkeys and keyboard shortcuts. Hotkeys tend to be a single keystroke or, or two keys that you can hold down that will activate a tool. For example, the X key over here will activate the selection tool. If you move your cursor onto this tool, it actually tells you that in the brackets that X means that this is the hotkey for that tool. Number two for that, number one for that, walls are number nine. Not everything has a hotkey. So for example, the data tag tool doesn't have a hotkey, the tape measure doesn't, and so on. So these are hotkeys that will just get you to the tool really, really quickly. Now it's not just Vectorworks. If we look at InDesign, You'll see here there's a tool and it's got the V or the escape key. So the escape key gets back to that. This is the A key. Hit the A key and you activate that tool. The V tool gets you back to that one. The T tool activates the text tool. So it's not just Vectorworks that has these abilities. So those are hotkeys, single keystroke that gets you to the tool that you want. Keyboard shortcuts, on the other hand, tend to be these ones on the side here. Control Z. Shift Control Z for undo, cut, copy, paste, and these are the same on just about every computer anyway. Um, but so those are keyboard shortcuts, and normally you need to have the Control key or the Command key on a Macintosh to activate those things. So to put it another way, you could say that hotkeys are for tools, like these, and keyboard shortcuts are for menu items from the menu at the top of the screen. So if we go back to Vectorworks, it has hotkeys for the tools. And it also has keyboard shortcuts for things like undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, and so on. And you'll notice that these are really similar to other programs as well. So once you learn some keyboard shortcuts, you'll often find that you can take them from one program to another. In this case, we've actually got a Google document. You might notice it's uh, something I wrote for my website. Now, if I select this item here, I can go Control B, and that will activate the bold. Control B again, and it turns it off. And if you run your cursor across those bold, italics, underline, you can see that it actually comes up there and tells you underline, bold, and here you might find this a little bit weird because it's the command key plus the shift key plus the full stop. But if you have a look at your keyboard, that's the arrow. So if I hold those down, I can make that text bigger, I can make that text smaller, and of course I can make it bold as well if I want to by hitting the B key. Now the other keyboard shortcut I hit by mistake was Shift plus Command plus B and it gets rid of my bookmarks. So you'll find if you want to be productive you can find all kinds of tricks. Now one of the tricks I love doing is I usually have lots of tabs open on my software and if I hold the option on the Command key I can jump to between different tabs and that makes it really quick when I've got multiple tabs open and I need to jump between one and the other. Now I'm not going to show you how to edit the hotkeys and the keyboard shortcuts on every program. Uh, not all of them allow you to do it, some do, some don't, but I will show you how to do it in Vectorworks. So let's have a look here. So we've got some hotkeys here, this is the text tool, call out tool and so on. If we go to this little, uh, some people call this the hamburger, the three lines, the menu, we can choose customize from there, we can customize from here, it'll always get us to the same place, tools, workspace, and here we can edit the current workspace. All of these will get you to the same location, which is this dialog box where we can edit the workspace. So I can call it by my name. This is my workspace, my name. And if we have a look at this, now at the moment we're looking at menu, so these are keyboard shortcuts. Tools are hotkeys. Let's have a look at basic, view and draw. And here is the selection tool, which is the X key. If you get rid of the X key, you can just click over here and go down here. So you just click here to get rid of that, delete it, and if we change it to the escape key. Now the escape key doesn't always work. Change it to key number one, it's already assigned by something else. 
no we don't want to change it so what about s for select so we could change it to the s key that would work and that would become the selection tool would be the s key now some of you know that I use tools like move by points a lot let's have a look for move by points there it is there now it's the shift plus the M key now I just don't like this because they're so far away I can't reach them with my little hands so I change that to the Z key shift plus Z is used by light uh, do I use the light tool no I don't use it like that so let's say yes now the shift plus the Z key and if you look at your keyboard you'll see they're next to each other that way I don't have to stretch my fingers too far now the other one here the constrained linear dimension has been N for as long as I've been using Vectorworks but this one used to be the M key which is a bit of a shame because M now means multiple windows so they got rid of that so what about shift plus N well it's a bit of a stretch so here I can say I want to use the shift key plus uh, shift plus D let's do shift plus D see if that's been used by anything shift plus D no so shift plus D will do that tool can we change that to D for dimension how about that so we can use D for dimension for that shift D for that one and you'll notice that they're quite close to my left hand side of the keyboard now if you're left-handed why don't you change some of these keyboard shortcuts away from the left hand to the right hand so for example shift plus question mark for move by points let's find move by points again here so if you're left-handed and you're holding the mouse in the left hand why not change this here to so shift plus slash which would be the question mark why don't you change that because then you can use your right hand to grab that keyboard shortcut so if you're left-handed or right-handed change the keyboard shortcuts to make you much more productive so now that we've made changes to these let's just have a look so I'm going to select an object like my stairs shift plus M move by points tool that's fantastic let's put some dimensions on I'm gonna hit the D key for the my dimensions and there they are there that's a dimension that's fantastic shift plus D is my angular dimensions great so that you can see it works much quicker if you start to learn these keyboard shortcuts I know one and two and I know this the X key and the C key for zooming in and I know key number nine for walls but I don't know all of them I don't need to know all of them because I don't use all of them all of the time but I certainly know the ones that I use on a regular basis what's the answer change your workspace and become more productive so why should you bother doing this well number one you'll find that when you start using keyboard shortcuts it becomes a lot quicker to use the tools and you can concentrate on your drawing and the content of your design instead of worrying so much about which tool and where is it so that's number one you'll find at the end of the day you're more relaxed and you're not as tired so you'll save yourself a lot of energy by using keyboard shortcuts but let's say it only saves five minutes a day that's 25 minutes a week let's say half an hour a week that's two hours a month if your charge out rate is a hundred dollars an hour you have just made two hundred dollars every month twenty four hundred dollars this tip is worth twenty four hundred dollars a year to you thanks for watching don't forget if you like this movie give it a thumbs up it really helps other people to find my movies and why don't you subscribe so every time I post a movie you'll get a notification